Understanding, I missed you, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a common and heartfelt phrase, I missed you. This phrase is rich in emotional context and is widely used in English speaking cultures. Understanding its usage and nuances is key to effective communication. So, let's get started. I missed you is a phrase used to express a feeling of longing or sadness over someone's absence. It's commonly said to a friend, family member, or loved one after being apart for some time. This phrase conveys that their presence was greatly desired and that their absence was felt deeply. Friendly and familial contexts. In friendly and familial settings, saying, I missed you, conveys warmth and affection. It's a way of showing that the person's presence is valued and that their absence was notable. Romantic contexts. In romantic relationships, this phrase often carries a deeper, more intense emotional weight. It implies that the speaker felt a significant emotional void when separated from their partner. Casual and formal settings. Casual settings. It's often used informally among close acquaintances. Formal settings, less common, but can be used to show personal care in a professional relationship, such as between a teacher and student. Variations. I've missed you implies a continuous feeling of missing someone over a period. I miss you already, said shortly after parting, indicating immediate emotional impact. Similar expressions, I've been thinking of you, less intense, more reflective. I can't wait to see you, focuses on future reunion rather than past separation. Understanding cultural sensitivities around this phrase is important. In some cultures, expressing such personal emotions openly might not be common. Always consider the relationship's closeness and the cultural background when using this phrase. I missed you is a simple yet powerful phrase that carries emotional depth and personal connection. Whether you're reuniting with a friend, family member, or significant other, using this phrase appropriately can deeply express your feelings. Remember, effective communication isn't just about the words you use but also understanding the emotions and cultural nuances behind them. Hope this guide was helpful, and see you in our next lesson.